हेलो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट पी यू मिड टर्म एग्ज़ाम इज़ नियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट पी यू केमिस्ट्री सम ऑफ द फिक्सड क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विच आर हंड्रेड परसेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द कमिंग एग्जाम्स सो आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी आई कैन गिव गारंटी दैट मिनिमम यू कैन स्कोर फिफ्टी मार्क्स इफ यू आर परफेक्ट इन दीज फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन आंसर्स सो फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन केमिस्ट्री we have is some basic concept of chemistry let us see the important question answers from this chapter questions related to significant figures are very important for this is three significant figures this also three and for this number four significant figures this also four significant figures all these are the significant figures for this number and for this number also all the digits are significant then the relationship between degree fahrenheit and degree celsius formula or numericals they are going to ask similarly relationship between kelvin and degree celsius is this then uh, law of conservation of mass law of definite proportion or law of multiple proportion any one of these law are very important for two marks then definitions like limiting reagent molarity molality definitions also very important for one one mark you need to practice these definitions then the value of avogadro number is 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 definition of mole and mole avogadro number related questions say for example uh, carbon dioxide molar mass or mass of avogadro number is 44 methane 16 uh, sulfur dioxide 64 and water 18 this also very important to the exams one of the major question for 3 marks from this first chapter is postulates of dalton's atomic theory so very easily you can remember 2 to 3 postulates for the exam then questions related to stoichiometric coefficients are very important for example this is the reaction of balanced equation for the combustion of methane it shows that 16 grams of methane when burn it produce 44 grams of carbon dioxide one mole of carbon dioxide so in the question they have given if you take 24 grams of methane how much carbon dioxide is going to produce so if uh, you are getting 4, 44 grams of carbon dioxide from 16 grams of methane then from 24 grams of methane you will get 66 grams of carbon dioxide so we have one more uh, few more examples related to stoichiometric coefficient there you can see for example uh, if you take the decomposition of calcium carbonate molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 g 100 g of calcium carbonate produce 56 g of calcium oxide and 44 g of carbon dioxide so in the question they have asked if you want 4.4 g of carbon dioxide what mass of calcium carbonate you need to burn so as we know if you want 44 g of carbon dioxide you need to take 100 g of calcium carbonate so if you want 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide then you need to decompose 10 grams of calcium carbonate another important question for 3 marks is percentage composition for example glucose percentage composition we need to calculate so glucose molecular formula is c6h12o6 first we need to find out the molar mass as the atomic mass of carbon is 12 hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16 so we get 180 now percentage of carbon so in glucose there are 72 grams of carbon and molar mass of glucose is 180 into 100 if you do you'll get percentage of carbon similarly percentage of hydrogen in 1 mole of glucose 12 grams of carbon divided by molecular mass of glucose 180 into 100 6.66% is the percentage of hydrogen and oxygen in 1 mole of glucose 96 grams of oxygen is present divided by molecular mass of glucose is 180 into 100 you'll get 53.33% of oxygen similarly we have one more example of ethanol to find out the percentage composition you have to practice this this is a compulsory question another five marks highly important question from this chapter is empirical formula and molecular formula so in the question whatever the elements given you write in the first column then in the second column you write the percentage of uh, each element according to the question then write atomic mass of each element for example sodium atomic mass is 23 carbon 12 oxygen 16 then you have to find out percentage uh, atomic 
ratio atomic ratio how to find out you need to divide percentage composition with its atomic mass you will get atomic ratio of each element after getting atomic ratio we need to find out the simplest ratio what to do simple to find out the simplest ratio atomic ratios should be divided with the smallest atomic ratio among this so among this the smallest atomic ratio is 0.941 with this 0.941 all the atomic ratios of three elements we need to divide so we'll get the simplest ratio that simplest ratio is nothing but empirical formula simplest ratio is empirical formula the next step you find out empirical formula mass whatever the empirical formula you got its mass you find out then you find out the n value by dividing atomic mass given in the question sorry molecular mass given in the question divided by uh, empirical formula uh, mass you'll get approximately 1 so finally you multiply empirical formula with n value to get the molecular formula so one more examples we example we have here to find out the empirical formula so these are important questions from first chapter second chapter we have is structure of atom it is also major chapter from this chapter you may get numericals to find out uh, the wavelength velocity or frequency the wavelength velocity and frequency relationship is this so in the question uh, they have given the frequency that is 1368 kilohertz that we need to convert into hertz by multiplying 10 to the power of 3 and velocity c value we know that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by frequency we'll get wavelength in terms of meter so we have one more numerical related to the same concept to calculate wavelength by using velocity and frequency then photoelectric definition is very very important for two marks you need to practice this then one more numerical is about redberg constant to find out wave number to calculate the wave number by using the formula redberg equation wave number is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square in the question hydrogen spectrum bamar series has been given for bamar series n1 value is 2 and they are asking to calculate the shortest wavelength shortest wavelength means n2 value is infinity nothing but zero so substitute n1 and n1 n1 and n2 value and rh value redberg constant value is given in the question then you need to find out the wave number very important this one then for two marks heisenberg uncertainty principle and its formula is very very important another two marks important question is difference between orbit and orbital it is also very important Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity with example also highly important for two marks. Then the three postulates of Bohr's atomic model is very very important for three marks. Easily you can remember electrons revolves around the nucleus in a definite circular path called orbit. Electrons will never lose electrons or never gain energy, never lose energy as long as they revolves the same orbit or same shell. So angular momentum is calculated by h by two pi. Very important for the exam. then uh, they will give one atomic number especially atomic number 24 and 29 chromium and copper you need to write the electronic configuration you can find here some exceptional electronic configuration then they'll ask you to find out the valence shell that is 4 and uh, uh, in valence shell the last electron enters in s orbital whose azimuthal quantum number value is 0 and the unpaired electrons in this element is 6 so like this questions also will get in the exam then uh, last question of this chapter which is very very important is significance of four quantum numbers principal azimuthal magnetic and spin quantum number significance are highly important third chapter we have is classification of elements and periodicity in properties it is also one of the major chapter in inorganic chemistry so here uh, mendeleev periodic law and modern periodic law you need to remember so both are very similar definition mendeleev regard related to atomic weight and uh, modern periodic law is related to atomic number then periodic properties like atomic radius and its trends are highly important for three marks atomic radius definition and trends then another periodic properties ionization enthalpy and its trend across the period and uh, down the group is also very important for three marks next the definition of isoelectronic species and examples are highly important to the two marks then another periodic properties electronegativity definition and its 
trend across the period and down the group is highly important then we have last periodic property that is electron gain enthalpy and its trend is also important for three marks any one periodic property for sure you will get then the defects of or demerits of mendeleev periodic table as he has arranged the not arranged the element in the increasing order of the atomic mass position of hydrogen is not sure position of isotopes is not mentioned so these are some of the important question answers from third chapter we have one more chapter in inorganic chemistry chemical bonding and molecular structure it is also highly important chapter so some of the important questions from this chapter is definition of lattice energy and some bond parameters like bond length bond angle bond enthalpy bond order so these bond parameters are highly important then for two marks resonance structure of ozone is highly important for two marks then definitions and example of polar molecule definition and formula of dipole moment is highly important for two marks apart from this this chapter has one difference between sigma and pi bond it is also compulsory question then for three marks postulates of valence shell electron pair repulsion theory is highly important and you also remember the repulsive repulsion order of lone pair and bond pair that is also highly important for one mark then for three marks you will get hybridization question either sp hybridization in barium beryllium chloride or sp hybridization in ethyne then sp2 hybridization in boron trifluoride or sp2 hybridization in ethene or you may get sp3 hybridization in methane any one hybridization you will get for 3 marks then another compulsory question from this chapter is formal charge you should remember the formula of formal charge then cal calculation of formal charge in ozone is also very important to the exam then <coughs> molecular electronic configuration of carbon molecule its bond order and magnetic property are going to be asked either carbon molecule or oxygen molecule then another important chapter uh, question from this chapter is hydrogen bond and its types from organic chemistry we have only one chapter some basic principles and techniques of organic chemistry from this chapter you will get the question related to hybridization of carbon in alkanes alkenes and alkynes along with the structure and first organic compound prepared by friedrich ohler is urea then you will get a compound you need to identify the hybridization and number of sigma and pi bonds from the compounds definition of homolysis heterolysis heterocyclic compound functional group definition along with the examples are two marks questions homologous series def, uh, de, homologous series definition nucleophile electrophile definition use of fractional distillation formula of rf factor application of chromatography also very important questions resonance of benzene then in the estimation of nitrogen there are two methods zeldahl methods and dumas method their nitrogen is converted into ammonia in zeldahl and nitrogen gas in dumas method then come to uh, uh, questions from isomerism either chain isomerism with example position isomerism with example functional isomerism any one this is very very important then in terms of bond effect either inductive effect resonance or mesomeric effect electromeric effect or hyper conjugation either one or two compulsory questions to the exam then the detection of carbon and hydrogen by copper oxide method is two marks question then three marks question is preparation of sodium fusion extract or lysogenase reagent detection of nitrogen detection of sulfur detection of halogen any one of these three is very important to the exam for two or three marks then for five marks question estimation of carbon and hydrogen by liebig method is highly important question along with the diagram you need to find write down the calculation and in the estimation of nitrogen two methods are there zeldahl's method and dumas method both has been given here so you need to prepare for five marks either estimation of nitrogen by zeldahl methods or by dumas method then finally 
for estimation of halogen there is a method called carrier's method this also very important and you also get the questions like this to, uh, to write the complete structure bond line structure finding the number of sigma and pi bond finding the hybridization and mentioning whether the compound is saturated or unsaturated so these are the important questions for the coming midterm exams thank you